you just say what you think of it instead of trying to get me to say what I, you want me to say what you think of it. Why don't you say what you think? No, this is, this is a tip for your YouTube channel. No, listen, instead of saying what other people think, no, listen. try saying what you think. <laughs> no, it's not a question. It's a statement. You're trying to say that. I'm asking was you. So no, from your point of view, you, is that rape? I need you to reach down and find your balls and see if the, you can find a period somewhere in your balls and take it and put it at the end of that sentence instead of a question mark. So say that was rape. And if you want to be a little bit of a bitch about it, you can say, I think that was rape. But asking me if you you're, don't you I, if you watch the video, you already know what I think. All right, this isn't going to be too, too long of a video. Um, this is about Flacco. And um, I want to say that that interview uh, with Mr. Girl was just pure hypocritical. Now, let me also be clear. I don't prescribe to half of what Mr. Girl was saying. I think Brad Pitt is a good looking guy. Do you think that, or if I say he's kind of hot, do you think that means I'm bisexual? Again, if you are attracted to like Brad Pitt, then you're, you're a bisexual. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't say I'm attracted to kids. I said in this movie, when they're wearing makeup and twerking, they were kind of hot and it was uncomfortable. Don't you think that the don't you think the only reason that's an interesting thing to say is if I, if you're not a pedophile, um, especially when he would this isn't even a defense in what he was saying. But even as a podcaster and an interviewer, I think that is um, much, much better when we um, take the time out to understand <laughs> when we are pushing the boundaries on a conversation. Um, when we are trying to trap somebody within a conversation to get them to either a expose themselves or whatever the case may be. There's a video that people give you a bunch of flack for, right? I think you were like telling a story about how, you know, you like took this girl home, you know, you know, and she was down, down with damn near everything. <laughs> and then as soon as you like took your penis out and put it in position, she like wanted you to, you to stop, but you still put it in. So do you think one... Is that would you categorize yourself as a and then two like like what's your response to I guess like the backlash like folks gave you for that video you know just had the urge to stick your dick in her after she you know like clearly wanted things things like to stop and I also think that um, especially urban media which I see no jumper it doesn't matter that's owned by a white guy it's, it's still urban media um, outlet. Uh, I think that we have to also stop attacking guests and we have to have these conversations that lead into uh, what we want to talk about and things like that. Also, I agree with Mr. Uh, Girl as well, where he uh, specifically was saying, look, if you be honestly believe that I am a, a rapist or um, that I do those type of things, you need to go ahead and say it. Um, and if you can't hold back your grotesque or, or emotions in order to have a conversation, then personally, I don't think Adam should have had him in that conversation. Why don't you just say what you think of it instead of trying to get me to say what I, you want me to say what you think of it. Why don't you say what you think? No, nope. a bitch about it. You can say, I think that was rape, but asking me if you, you don't you, I, if you watch the video, you already know what I think. Because I, I understand why he's offended because the whole, yeah. the video is about how consent is a nuanced thing and how there are these fringe cases like the one that he's discussing. And you seem kind of dead set on going with the most basic explanation, no. right? No, no, no. Um, there's no interview where I felt like um, Flacco gives the best um, interviews in a hostile environment. Uh, I think that he he's just as hot-headed as Mr. Girl is. But we are here for the hypocrisy, right? Uh, we're here to talk about what makes Flacco a little bit uh, hypocritical in this situation. Um, there was a clip in this one where um mr girl says that um you have to learn how to separate um intentions from like thought process so bake your fucking head around that so let me explain it to you thinking something and feeling something is not the same as doing it and if you cannot separate thoughts from actions you are not going to be able to a have a conversation with me that gets off the ground at all because you're so <laughs> you're so like intent on distancing yourself from your own thoughts 
as if they're actions. I've and never two, thought you're, you're, you're not, you're, you, you can't tell, you don't, you honestly don't know the difference between a pedophile and a child molester. Basically, I think they were talking about uh, a scene where um, in cuties or something like that, where he thought, oh, well, those girls were hot, shaking it. But again, I don't prescribe to that. But I just found it crazy that um, Flacco thought that that was just like crazy nuance when uh, this happened. Leo. Honestly, right? Crazy. Listen, right? Honestly, yo, because I can't punch her in her mouth, right? <laughs> I'll probably oh, fuck the bitch, right? so I could just fucking just 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 destroy her fucking insides, but right, you know, and fuck that bitch life up, you know. So, um, right? So hey, I got a question. Like, it seems like y'all know a lot about her, and like she's always just hidden and whatever. Like, what what is her fucking pro- like? Who is she? What does she do? What like where she at? That's right. Why she's so scary, bruh? We got this bitch on camera, right? But again, I'm not gonna be be um you know um you know um the one to put it out, right? Because again, bruh, um that bitch love to call the police. You feel me, yo? Right? You know. And uh, one thing that I learned, yo, white women tears um, are the highest value currency in America. You feel me, yo? So I'm not gonna be a part of no uh, white woman crying and shit. You know, uh, you know. I'm trying to frame me and blame me, right? So, you know. Now, what's more disturbing in this video is that um, everybody in this video is a grown up or older than Flacco. Um, and they're talking about a specific young lady um, that supposedly called the FBI on him, um, which also he seemingly lied because here's the clip where he does threaten this woman. Um, and whether it's worth calling the FBI or not, it's not the point. The point is, is that this is what you said online. And so now I can perceive you as a rapist because you have admitted to, or at least at the a bare minimum, you're a guy that believes in domestic violence, right? But this is a thought process, right? Not an action. You didn't actually hit this woman you didn't actually touch this woman, but you were willing to say it on, on a live stream um, in front of an audience. I guess you and Mr. Girl have something in common. Peace.